your storm team weather, here's Chief Meteorologist Aaron Ayers, sponsored by Big Country Equipment. All right. Hello, everyone. From Market Street on Sunset Drive in San Angelo, Texas, part of the KSAN Cares Food Drive with the Concho Valley Regional Food Bank that's been going on all day today. Just a few more minutes left here to bring out non-perishable food items to donate to the Concho Valley Regional Food Bank. So many Texans struggle with hunger here throughout our state, and we wanted to be able to give back and help just a few of those people here in our local community. Look at so much of this stuff that's already been donated. So a great turnout. Thank you to everyone that has already come out and donated. Well, let's get to our forecast because things are going to feel a lot more like summer than fall for us here throughout the Concho Valley over the next several days. We're going to see a warm football Friday, very different than the last Friday. Temperatures generally in the upper 70s for game times. A weekend warm up. We're going to get close to 90 many of our days for daytime highs. Those highs in the 80s, mix of sun and clouds in the days to come. Our almanac for today, we made it to a high of 81 out at Mathis Field. We averaged around 70 nine degrees this time of the year. The record's 95 back in 1914. This morning's low of 59, just a little above where we should be for morning lows this time of the year. Right now, it's 80 degrees. That sun's starting to come out just a little bit more as clouds start to push off to our east. So starting to see a little bit warmer temperatures, a little more sunshine across the area. That humidity at 60%. And as we go into current temperatures across our region, it's 78 over in Brady, 80 here in San Angelo, 84 in Ozona, and 84 in Sterling City, 82 up in Robert Lee. So a very warm afternoon for us as we end this day. Tomorrow, getting on the bus to go to school on Friday. Temperatures are going to be right around 62 degrees. Clear conditions as you get on the bus tomorrow. And then as we head home, it's going to climb into those low 80s for us as we roll into the afternoon. Plenty of sunshine to come. Talking about those football games, those temperatures for those games across the area. Many of us are going to start out in those upper 70s around kickoff time. Clear conditions throughout the game. We're only going to drop a few degrees into those lower 70s as we go towards 9 o'clock. Southeast winds of 5 to 10 miles an hour expected tomorrow night during game time. Clouds and radar right now, not a whole lot going on in our part of Texas, but a few showers and thunderstorms, some strong ones bubbling up in the Big Bend region. Some of those going severe. Looking across the nation right now, this is what's going on. Not a whole lot for our part of Texas once again, but some severe weather in the Ohio Valley. Pretty much quiet conditions elsewhere across the lower 48. Our high-risk future cast going overnight tonight. Don't be surprised if you see another isolated shower or two in some of our communities overnight tonight. Most of us remain dry. A few clouds sticking around as well as we roll into tomorrow morning. A few clouds to start the day. Then as we go through our Friday, we're going to continue to see more sunshine rolling through the days ahead. Our local outlook looks like this. Temperatures generally in the upper 80s for us as we go through Saturday into Sunday. Warming close to 90. And then we'll get to those 90s as we go into Monday, Tuesday. Another cold front swinging through our area. And then we'll start to see those temperatures come back down into those lower 80s for us as we head towards the middle and latter half of next week. Tonight we dropped around 59 under partly cloudy conditions. For our Friday, we're going to top out near 87 with mostly sunny conditions for the next five days. This is what to expect. Warming conditions rolling into the weekend. Temperatures getting into those upper 80s. Morning lows starting out in the lower 60s for us and some 50s as we head towards the end of the week. We have more K-Stand news coming up after the break. Stay with us.